In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to clone an existing virtual machine that you might have inside VMware Workstation Player. I have Ubuntu right over here to version 20.04. This one's fully installed and operational. What I want to do is find out where it's located. So I'm going to go over here and where it says edit virtual machine settings. So I'm going to select on that. Then I'm going to select the hard disk path. And this is going to let me know the folder that it's in. Now your directory will probably be something different. I have mine stored on a separate drive, which is my D drive and I have it inside a folder called VM. So this is the location where the disk file is. I can open up my Windows Explorer and it's right over here. I'm inside my D drive and then uh, inside the VM folder and here is the folder that we want. So now that we've located the folder, this is perfect. All we have to do is right click on it and then copy it and then we can go into the same folder, right click and then paste. So it's going to make a duplicate of the exact same folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this go through. I'll skip over to when it's done pasting in. So now that it's copied, what you want to do is you can just modify this folder so it says something different. I'm just going to give it a number. Um, you can really call this folder whatever you want. Uh, once you go inside it, we want to make sure that we get rid of these two folders right over here and here. Everything else we're going to be leaving as is. So I'm going to just uh, delete these .lck folders and say yes to it. Okay, and we'll go back into the main directory. You can see it right over here. I'm going to go back into my VMware workstation player. So what we're going to do is go to the menu up at the top, go to file and then open. And we're going to go to the VM folder. And here is our copy. We're going to double click on it and we have the VMX file. So we're going to select that and then we can click on open and it's going to populate in the list. Now these have two identical names right now. What we're going to want to do is make sure that we know what the difference is. It's going to be the first one in the list. We're going to select the edit option right over here and it's going to bring us back to the settings and then we can go up here to the top where it says options and then we can give it a different name. Again, you can add whatever you like in here. This is a label for it. I'm just going to add the same thing 001. Uh, you can see that the directory is the same directory right over here. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now we can see the difference in the name. You just have to click on the play button and this is the one important factor is when it prompts you, you want to make sure that you select I copied it so it knows it's a copy. Uh, it'll make all the changes required to make sure this boots up correctly. So I'll go ahead and select that. The first time booting might take a few seconds, but it's going to start up the exact same way. And that's how you clone your virtual machine inside VM Workstation Player. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.